New to CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 is the powerful, web-based CorelDRAW.app. Simply sign in from any device to access your work. No installation is required, and it works on any platform, including both PC and Mac. CorelDRAW.app is available exclusively to CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 customers. For accessing CorelDRAW.app, you need CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2019 authenticated in your Corel customer account. The URL is https coreldraw.app, and you can sign in with your Corel customer account credentials. I can start with a new design, for which I can choose one of the preset document sizes, or enter a size, or leave the dimensions blank for an infinite canvas. Or I can start with a template, and choose from these categories. I'll choose social media, and open this party invitation. Much of the look and feel of the app will seem familiar to CorelDRAW users, but there are a few differences. Scrolling my mouse wheel pans the document up and down, and scrolling with the control key pressed zooms in and out. Scrolling with shift pans side to side, and with my spacebar pressed, I can drag to pan anywhere. All of my drawing and editing tools are in this toolbar across the top. Here are the pick and shape tools, lines and shapes, curves, shaping, and text. I can also import images. When objects are selected, the tools for mirror, rotate, grouping, etc. are enabled here. I can control the display with options in the view menu, such as the canvas options, which include rulers and grid, several types of snaps, and I can turn on and off the various panels. The modify menu is where I can find arrange, align, and transform options. Panels are similar to the dockers that appear on the right side of the CorelDRAW workspace. The Objects panel lists the objects on each page, Libraries provides access to online content, and Symbols is where I can store objects I want to reuse. On the right is where I can control properties of selected objects. For example, I can change the font or color of selected text, or the fill of selected curves. If a group is selected, I can change its overall properties, or select the element within the group I want to work on. If nothing is selected, this panel displays general information about the document itself, including page size, margins, etc. Drawing tools will feel familiar as well. While I'm creating objects, if snaps are enabled, I have a variety of indicators that pop up. For this rectangle, I can round corners, set a fill and border, reduce opacity, and apply effects, such as a blur. When an object is selected with the Pick tool, I can move it, scale it, or rotate it. And I can drag to rearrange object order. I can create layers in the Objects panel and move objects in and out of layers. You'll notice that some app features are marked Pro. Accessing Pro features requires an upgrade from Standard to Pro level through a subscription. When a document is complete and I'm ready to save it, I have several options. I'll choose File Save As, and I can choose the CDR app format for use in the app, or CDR format if I want to open this document in Corel Draw. Either format can be saved to the Corel Cloud with this Save button, or downloaded to my computer with this Download button. My open documents are listed in this corner, and while saving to the Corel Cloud, I get an indicator while the document is syncing. In CorelDraw.app, I can open a CorelDraw file from my computer. The original CorelDraw content is here in this locked layer, and at this time I can't edit this content while in CorelDraw.app. But any objects I add will be included when saving this document back to CDR format. I can open my downloaded CDR document in CorelDRAW and continue editing and adding content. With the new CorelDRAW Graphics Suite, your imagination doesn't have to be limited to your desk. Wherever inspiration strikes, open CorelDRAW.app in a browser on any device and start designing.